Well, hello, Kingsman. Welcome back to the Napoleonic Battlefield. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, rough start, maybe Monday, you know. Um, hopefully this will uh, cheer you up getting into the week. Oh. But today, <laughs> um, we have a 4v4. Now, this one uh, was sent to me by Steely Dan. So my brain's going to be a little slow here. It is evening after work, so I my brain's going to probably be a little slow. Just disclaimer now, but Steely Dan, he's actually playing on the Coalition side, sent the battle in 4v4, like I said. And you can see um, this map we have seen recently. It's a Polish map, Gorsi, the map of Gorsi. And uh, the Ottomans are actually up here. Last time we saw um, a player up here, starting way up here by themselves, they actually pulled back and stayed right here. But Ottomans being very aggressive, which I love to see. They have this river that if they use it correctly, they can actually uh, push up and uh, take the LLC and hold the river. Now, they are facing um, some Russians, actually two two Russian armies, an Austrian army, and then a UK army. Um, they are, of course, going to be reinforced by three French armies. Now, you have a 10-point France, a, another 10-point France, and a Polish 7-point France. So, very fitting the Polish would be on the battlefield today. Um, let's see what the Ottomans are planning on doing here. So, they are setting up... Their line of tree, these guys can not square, but some of these can. Uh, their cavalry on the flanks here, some of their uh, lights, and then their heavier cav, the lancers. Uh, looks like Russia is kind of not sure what they're going to do here. They're going to march down this road. If the UK play the cards right, then they can just march right up to the Ottomans and just volley them to death. You know, that's kind of the best way to push the enemy as the UK. And you can see already we have cavalry going for these artillery pieces. We do have swearables. And they're going to go for it. They are definitely going to go for it. They're going to probably form square here. Uh, but the artillery is definitely still going to be caught out. And they may actually break that artillery piece. Yeah, they broke it. I think, I think the Ottomans could have been a little bit more defensive there. They should have pushed their cab out to meet them. As you can see how long it actually took for the Cossacks to actually push across this small little river. That's a good sign. That means that the Ottomans could actually hold very well. Now, their army is strung all the way over here. They may want to consider consolidating on this road and uh, reacting to this UK flank. Artillery is gone. Um, it's very unfortunate. We have Green Rascals already going to be sitting in this ditch, opening up fire. In the first red, the first of volley here, but it's striking mostly on the hill, so they may want to, you know, push up the hill. We also have a huge Russian uh, cavalade. We have Gasaris, we have Grenadiers, we may even have more Garens. Yeah, we have a lot of Grenad. Not Grenadiers. What am I saying? I warned you. I warned you that it would be rough. Dragoons. The cavalry grenadiers, as they were called, you know. Um, <clears throat> UK are just going down this road trying to isolate the Ottomans. They are going to have a tough fight as France is going to take quite some time to get across this bridge and infantry to get across here. I don't know if the Ottomans, this was really wise of the Ottomans. They are going to fall back. Their artillery is mincemeat. This one cav unit is not going to make it. Um... Yeah, they, they're going to lose their cav. These lancers are going to go... Oh, no, they're not even lancers. They're going to go get some dragoons. And you can see they are losing already here. And they're going to totally destroy this artillery. And, yep, Ottomans getting massively pushed already here on both sides. And the mass of the coalition isn't really even up. Um, of course, the uh, British, the UK are going to be such a powerhouse here of volleys. I bet you they got the tow rows. But cavalry is still pushing for this flank where, um, yeah, they definitely don't have any squareables here. Their squareables are way in the side, so they're going to try to get their cav over here to be defensive. Um, Russia did lose some cavalry, only one. And now the Austrians are pushing up here. They are just getting pushed on all points all along the board. And reinforcements are still far behind. More French cab, though, is pushing up here. Looks what they got here. Some of the Chasseur Cheval. 
and uh, some of the Jaeger Prince Koenig. Okay. Okay, more lights. I don't see a lot of heavies, but France they needs to hurry up here because the UK are pushing. And they're pushing rapidly here. They have not taken a lot of losses. And they are already pushing back on this village. Russia is sending up line infantry to uh, take this LOC. And probably, I would assume, sending up some grenadiers. None yet. Um, but they are going to push up and probably try to take this LOC, wrest it from the control of the Ottomans. The Ottomans are probably going to die here. The question is, can they hold long enough um, by this LOC to get, you know, the French a good position to then counterattack? Because right now I see the Ottomans falling back a lot. And I see the UK pushing up a lot as well as Russia pushing up here in the center. I'm expecting to see some Grenadiers any second now, either from Austria or from Russia. The mass of Russia, though, going directly down here. And yeah, they're going in. Um, Russia is going to probably take this LOC. And Austria needs to... Austria needs to be put a little more of a pep in this. Come on, put a little more pep in your step. Like, defend this LOC. Throw some troops. Get some melee. I mean, you're not going to win this... Oh, wow. Is this friendly fire? This building has fallen to the enemy. So, the coalition is friendly firing their own allies. I think they realized it, though. And yeah, they took this LOC already, which means the Ottomans are going to start collapsing even faster. Uh, Russia is now going to roll up on this side, and they're about to roll the whole flank. Um, the Ottomans need to fall back to this point <clears throat> and hope they can keep some of their troops alive long enough to do so. A slow retreat, maybe, because France is almost there. Almost. They have artillery pushing up as well. Possibly one army is across. Look at the... Oh, this artillery is going to... This is sad. This artillery is probably going to die. This bridge does not do well with artillery. Here it goes. Why you can't bring artillery on Gorsi if you're the French? It killed artillery before, so... Maybe it's going to work. I don't know. We'll have to come and check back on that. Because um, right now, the action is still happening here. Where, oh, Austria is pushing up here, going for some units that can form square, some that can't. Um, and what are they going with? Some Lancers. Uh, but they're countercharged by some Carabiniers. Wow. Some heavy cab of France. And the nice thing is I can go a little more zoomed in because not a lot's happening yet. It's just this one point where, oh man, they are getting shot to pieces. Howitzer is obviously going in as well. The UK are just pounding away. And they're threatening to outflank them. And you see they are just shooting them down. Are these Scottish? Nope. Oh, they're like maybe some Scottish light infantry. Um, but Russia could be a little more aggressive. Russia should be getting a lot closer. They want to break this army before France gets there. Uh, the UK should have a uh, cavalry kind of pushing up here. Now you do see on this river, on the side here, you may have some Lancers who are going to get charged by some Chester Cheval. We have skirmishers pushing up. Um, did that artillery live? They, fit, they made it work. Last time it did not work, so I'm glad to see that they fixed it. There could be a huge fight here. Some Crassiers looks like in the center for Austria. No, these are just Chevaliers, my bad. I apologize. I mislabeled them. The UK are getting very aggressive here. I mean, they're reloading in accuracy, guys. Their reloading speed is going to be crazy compared to the Ottomans. And then Russia coming to melee the flank. Props to the Ottomans for holding as long as they can, but they can't hold too much longer. Cavalry, oh. Some Gasaris got a little too close to these Cabaneras. Uh, they're going to run out there, and but uh, some Dragoons are going in here and hitting those heavies. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. 
Oh, more Lancers possibly going in. Oh no, they're gonna lose their heavies. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. More Lancers. Ulani. Going for the flank. Russia is massing up here. France. They are finally engaged. They're actually engaging some of the Russian light infantry, it looks like. Here, so they have established a line along this lagoon of sorts. And uh, they're going to start pushing up, forming a flank. UK needs to get a little careful here. Uh, their flank can be easily get exposed, and the French could start pushing up. And you know what the kryptonite of the UK is? It's bayonet charges. And that's exactly what I guarantee you the French need to... Wait. Okay, this is Saxon troops. I did not realize this. Never mind. France should not melee. Do not melee. Although this is what? Grenadiers? Oh, this is a lot of Grenadiers. Maybe, maybe they should. It is Saxon troops, though. You know, the Saxon line infantry wasn't the greatest. They have a lot of musketeers here. They brought a lot. But they do have a lot of, uh, of their Grenadiers who actually look like they're going to be the ones closing in on the UK. Um, the UK should probably try diverting more troops to this side. Fire. Do we have cavalry charging in here? Some guard decor. Who are gonna? Yep, they're gonna hit them. They're gonna form square. Line of Shear now gonna start pushing up for France. Look at those sweet, sweet lines. And here we go, the bayonet charge. I think the UK realized they may be a little screwed here. Um, they do have cavalry close by, so they're gonna get their troops out of there and start swinging around. Ottomans now are going to re-engage here. They need to put a little more troops over here on this flank. But, oh no, they're getting flanked here. And they're getting shot in the flank. Men are running for that was a beautiful flank by the UK, shooting them as they're charging across that road. Um, I don't even know where Austria. Austria could be pushing. Yeah, Austria is pushing probably down this road. They're going to take the right flank. Russia is probably in the center here and on the left flank. With the UK in the center, center. Like, there's two centers here. Uh, these Grenadiers, Boise dudes, are going to go in once more. Cavalry is charging in. All men are and uh, yeah, they're breaking them. But that charge really hurt the UK line infantry. And now look at the reserves, guys. Look, this is confusion right now. This kind of looks confusing. <laughs> um, but, ooh, there's guard units here. Some chasseurs. And now Cavs seems to be charging back and forth. These UK units are going to have to mass up and prepare for the fact that they're probably going to be forming squares a lot. With Grenadiers and Cav doing uh, charges here. Oh, we do have the Mamelukes going in. Now they're going to get charged by some uh, Chevaliers. And that's going to break them instantly here. France, the last French army, I do believe. No, Austria. Okay, so the Polish French are not even close, guys. But France is going to start pushing up here. This is bad for the UK. They need to start falling back. They need Russia in the center for melee. Because their units will start to break. Our men are running for It's us. Wow. There's a square getting charged here by some more grenadiers. Just kind of giving you an idea of how chaotic this battlefield is going in the center. Elsewhere, Russia is actually meleeing as well, going with some of their grenadiers, I do believe. Or just regular line of your guard, who knows. But France, I think, is making a breakthrough here. The UK got a little too close, which is why Russia is shifting over five units of line of tree to reinforce this side. They do have um, some Austrian troops as well to form a reserve. And uh, possibly have some troops to watch for this flank by France. Russia is supporting this side now. So is the UK. Uh, Russia has a back line. So it's good to see reserves. They're going to definitely need them here. 
and the Southern French armies even there. I would hate to be the seven pointer. You're stuck all the way over there and can't do a thing. Uh, the UK need to fall back. They're good for shooting, not melee. And you can see already, oh, they lost it, didn't they? Russia took it, so Russia is caving the flank. Beautifully done. They are caving that flank. They have taken a LOC that is broken. It's super tough to fight for, to take. And now they're going to be getting shot in the flank by the Russians. This fight's still raging in the center, though. Both sides not willing to give up. We do have some Lancers from Russia smacking a ton of Ottomans. More of these French Musketeers now pushing up against Russia. In fact, we may have a bayonet charge and some Musketeers versus some Austrians, but they are going to get shot two pieces, and they are not going to make it. There is some thick reserves. Our running, sir. Austrians definitely facing off against this French army. So France can make a uh, push here. They can maybe swing around the flank, cave in. This center needs some reinforcements. Like France made a good push, and now it's Russia and Austria here. UK are in the back lines. They have some reserves, though. They need to switch places with uh, Russia here. Oh, what is... That's looking a little blobby. That's a little blobby looking, having that many units charging in that looks like that's i mean that's an excellent opportunity to break a ton from. of russians split some units start firing into it and you can mass route what six wait how many units is this seven units yeah you can see they're routing a lot of russians that was not wise of russia to rush in so many troops so the imperial guard are out in front here and on the flank some fusilier chasseurs I think both sides have started disengaging a little bit. Russia needs to form these dudes up. I don't know what this blob is, but this is terrible looking. They need to, oh, what are they doing? I don't know what that is, but that is a blight that needs to be fixed right now. That is so weird. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, France is going to start pushing up here, getting ready for another part of the fight to engage. Austria, I think, is going to be uh, okay. They have some calf support. They have some skirmishers. They're shifting over more of their line infantry. Uh, they have to secure this right flank. Now, France may have to... See, the, the coalition, what they have to do here, guys... <laughs> Guys, guys, so what they have to do here is they need to crush this force right now before Poland-France gets there. Because Poland-France is almost there. These reserves need to uh, get in the fight. Like I said, this seven-pointer probably... This was probably very frustrating watching the fight happen and you can't do anything about it. Artillery is pushing out. I think France is going to disengage here. And at a certain point, maybe the UK and the Coalition should fall back to Tennessee and hold. Let your artillery come up, because I know they have it. I saw it firing earlier. Okay, Coalition, listen, I know you have your artillery. Put it right here. There's a small choke point. You just have some cav or infantry waiting. Use your artillery. Set them up right along here. Right here, right here, right here. Just stream along. Put your line of infantry in a line along here. And then let the French smack themselves on your line. Right now, Coalition is just getting too aggressive, and there is still a French army that is fresh. I mean, it's strung along the road, but it's coming. And there will be hell to pay when they get here. I promise you. But France is still falling back. Oh, man, these howitzers. Just adding insult to injury, aren't they? Look at this. Oh, wait, I hear a cab charge. Or did I? Maybe not. <clears throat> I don't see very much artillery. Oh, no, no. France does have some artillery. So that artillery right here, a three pounder. Um, where is it? Another artillery piece here, a 12 pounder. Where's the rest of their artillery? They could fall all the way back to this river. On this left side, 
should fall back if the right side's falling back. Um, they may actually want to hold. Maybe they're gonna hold right here. I don't know what they're doing right now. We're gonna we're gonna observe, okay? Guys, yeah, just need just need to wait a second. We'll we'll see how the battle plays. Um, Russia is getting very aggressive here, stabbing and cutting down these poor Saxon musketeers. UK are back with what's left of their army. Taking some pot shots at these poor musketeers. So it looks like the French are actually going to hold this side. Um, I think they're going to hold right here. They have artillery right here in an excellent position to defend. That's where you want to place your artillery in a defensive position or aggressive position attacking position oh that the howitzers are just brutal here very cool looking though very very beautiful um over here we have the polish what lancers are these lancers yeah polish lancers sneak around don't these guys fool you and these are what kazakis yeah kazakis so France is falling back just to match their allies' movements. They cannot form square, so they need to watch out for an Austrian cav charge here. This is how I like to see cav used. In between units, not rush through them and just charge down. Maybe they're going to smack and, oh, they're going for some skirmishers. Rip. Rip the skirms. Sorry, boys. And they're going to start collapsing on all these skirms. Of course, we do have some Chester Cheval. You can try to push up and defend that. Our but men are running, sir. Skirms are dead. Oh, wow. So look at this, guys. A entirely new position. With fresh reinforcements, mind you. Russians. There are Russians here. Do not. Your eyes are not fooling you. These are Russians and Polish fighting Russians. How sad. Brother against brother. And you hear some cavalry here. Oh, these Chester Cheval are trying to get away from uh, some Chevaliers who are hot on their trail. More cab charging for the guns. Can they save their guns from these Russian dr dr dragoons? Almost said Grenadier. Oh, they're going for some cab. Oh, they're going for the. Oh, they are going for the guns. They just did a little juke. Uh, they broke one of them, but they broke. <laughs> Unfortunate. But I think more Russian cavalry may be trying to uh, charge in here. What do we got? We got Dragoons. Oh, the canister. Oh, it's going to start breaking the Russians. If they go against this artillery position, which is a six-pounder, they are dead. And this looks like a very strong position here. They have artillery set up, 12 pounders. The entire unit wow. Dead, really toasting the coalition. The coalition needs to fall back. I do not like this at all. There is fresh troops. I guarantee these Russians are tired. Sit back, let your artillery fire at them. You have LOC. I have, yeah, you have LOC. Stay back. You don't have to keep pushing. Don't get greedy. The coalition can't get greedy. They are winning this battle right now. It's at the 25-minute mark, guys. Usually battles are almost over by this point. Um, and this one is not over, of course, but they cannot get greedy. And I feel like they are being a little too aggressive here by the river. Maybe not everywhere else, but by the river, I think they are being way too aggressive here. Um, I think this army should push across the river. That's my that's my thing. I don't think there's enough Russians here for them. They have artillery, but they have nothing else. They're exhausted. They're tired. Um, also, the UK should not be holding it right next to 12 pounders. They this is stupid to attack across a river crossing where you're gonna get shredded. You see, they're losing this artillery position, guys. The coalition is walking right into their trap. It's a trap. It legitimately is a trap.
And, uh, yep, they're going back across. Oh, wow, there's Russia. Oh, come on, Russia. Don't attack too. Unless you can get rid of that artillery, don't attack. Yeah, here we go. So they're going to push across, which is going to force this Russian army to have to react to the side. Because Russia doesn't have anything, I don't think. <clears throat> that would be my guess, looking at this. Sorry, I'm not trying to lose my voice. I don't have COVID, but my voice is definitely going. <laughs> so I'm going to struggle through this here. We'll make it. But Russia should not be attacking here. Try not to yell. But I feel very passionately about this. You cannot just... Okay, well, you know what? We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll, we'll see. So these artillery are going to definitely put some pressure on this force here. Like I said, these guys are resting. They're fresh now, which means when there's a counterattack, they will be using these guys. Probably pushing across, and once Russia... Oh. We have some cab going for some skirmishers. There we go, though. We do have the French pushing across. I love this. Very aggressive on the side. They have a lot of cavalry to uh, support this. A lot of lancers. Over here on this side, Russia and Austria, I think, are doing well. Our I men think. are running, sir. I mean, this artillery has definitely been the hot spot here for a lot of cavalry. And France is starting to break a little bit against this Russian concentrated fire. But these reserves are now pouring over the river. But they also have to deal with this flanking Austrian force now. Things look good here, though. Oh, we do have artillery, though. Um, but I don't think that the I don't think the Russians have enough to deal with the Ulani. Ulanin. Ulani. Yeah, it's Ulani. Um, the UK are pushing some infantry over to help support this side. I guess Russia is gonna stay in here. They're gonna start losing troops as this artillery is just gonna keep firing. Now, the only way I see this working is if Russia tells their troops to actually fire at these guys. Fire at this. Oh, this is like. Oh wow. Look at how they're chopping through that troop. Look at that. Just butchering them. Russia is gonna fall back here. They need to fall back a lot more. Oh, man. Okay, so the artillery for Russia is starting to tell on their fellow Russian comrades. Brother versus brother. This is so sad to see. They're killing their comrades. That hat would have... Oh, we have a charge here. Cavalry and line infantry. This is the beginning of the crumbling on this side, I suspect. Line infantry, I bet you, was going to go in for a charge, but we have... Oh, what is this? Dragoons. Oh, man. These, these infantry... Okay, don't run into the square. Oh, come on, Russia. You're better than that. You're charging a square. Bayonet charge along the side, so France... Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. This is Russia versus Russia. Dang. Okay, so we have a huge push here. A lot of cavalry... Mostly, I see French, though, in the French cavalry definitely winning here. And it uh, looks like we got counter charge, more cavalry back and forth. The Polish should be very careful that they do not lose their cav here. Oh, we have another charge, more Russians slaying fellow Russians. Are running but you can see here that Russia is winning or not Russia but uh, France is winning here they have broken most of the cavalry of Russia they have pushed across where Russia is now going to fall back they have a huge exposed wing here that is going to start losing they have the reserves but 
Um, Austria needs to suck it up and go through this town and try attacking the flank. As right now, they are losing against repeated cav charges and bayonet charges. But both sides still throwing in a lot. More and more Russians and French Russians fighting here. Pushing back very aggressively now. There was a huge rout by the French 7-point here. Um, but they're going to push up their remaining reserves, backed up by some more musketeers. This is still too close to tell. France is now going to take up this left flank. I do believe they lost their artillery to, uh, <clears throat> well, maybe not. Yeah, they did. No, they did. Where is it? Oh, they reset it up over here. They're going to probably leave an open window and just fire through here. That's a good place. These are 12-pounders. Or that's a 6-pounder. But you leave this gap open and fire your artillery. You have a flank here, um, which Russia is now readjusting wisely to take. Austria is looking a little thin here. <laughs> but those howitzers probably are not making it easy. <laughs> not making it easy at all for France. These guys still in the fight, still fighting strong. This army is relatively fresh. Uh, we have some cavalry charging in. We start trying to go probably for the Austrian artillery position. But um, Austria may lose their artillery, yeah. What is this? This is the heavies of uh, France. But though there's a counter charge here. These guys can't form square. I think Austria is going to figure that out pretty fast. No, they can't right there. On this side, things seem to have evened up once more. Russia holding in the center, shifting re re their reinforcements on this side where the French, Polish, Russian army definitely is looking a little stronger here. They have beefier units. The Polish lineup is not the greatest, and honestly, France is looking a little weak, but I think they feel like they may have a break on the coalition soon. Do we have some guard decor going in? Yes, we do. A small unit, guys. That's 19 men. Are they going to break this Austrian line? Holy cow. There's 18 of them. 17, 6. Oh, no. They're starting to die. Well, they broke two. They need to be very cautious right here. I mean, they could easily break. I guess it's all or nothing at this point. They could easily break this line. But there's a river, which is a natural defense for the Austrians. Now, if Austria has to fall back to this lagoon swamp area, that is going to be tough for them to actually uh, accomplish that. But Russia is standing their ground. This looks like guards. This is definitely gu Russian guard troops, I think. But Russia does not like these odds right now. Um, France is going to have to be very cautious, though. Use their artillery. And let's just say this in the very... I just want to say it's really fast, though. Ottoman's still alive. Props to them. You know, they took a brunt of the attack. They don't have a whole lot left. But they have something, and they're using it. It's not the size of your force. It's how you use the force, guys. Ooh, this artillery is actually breaking some of these Russians over here. Now, Austria does have artillery as of their own. And it looks like they are actually now falling back. The counter counter attack. Or is it the counter attack? I can't I, I, I can't tell. <laughs> I like seeing this though. There is 14 minutes remaining on this replay. 
and both armies looking still intact. There's not one army, except for the UK maybe, that is semi-gone. So... We do have, let's see, these are the Russians, so they're going to be the ones probably told to go for this LLC. Uh, Russia wisely is going to use this LLC. Look at that howitzer raid in the back. Um, Russia's actually looking like they are very, very quick. They're very, very close to breaking. And these guard decor, 13 of them are still harassing the Russian line. It's probably why these cavalry lancers are pushing up. Oh, look at this. Some Kazakis the man of fatigue, charging the rescue. Russian artillery position, stopping them from being able to set up a strong defensive position here. And there's some Russians in the way back. They're going to be a little late as Austria's general or artillery or both are going to fall victim to these Kazakis. These Cossacks. And Austria is going to lose their general next if they're not careful. Austria's not paying attention. They're going to lose a general, and this could be the caving in of the right flank of Austria. As losing their general will cause them to uh, have a huge morale debuff at a very crucial point in the battle here. So those Kazakis finally broke, but they did their part, I would say. Do we have some uh, Miskateers running? They feel like it is close. The uh, coalition is at the brink of dying. Nope, they're gonna fall back. <laughs> we have taken the buildings up. Look at the details here. You can see the reflection of them in the river. Of course, not the flag, but you know, everything else. No to see, guys. It's just a it's just a falling back game now. Russia try oh these skirms are dead. Um they're just getting the, the coalition was advancing so successfully. Unfortunately, it seems the opposite has now happened, and now they are falling back. They may have to have a river crossing hold. Uh, they have, I know they have artillery back here. We'll see uh, its howitzers, but I think they're going to try to make a stand around this LOC. Maybe the rest of the Austrians are going to link up, but they are outnumbered now. They've taken such losses. We have taken the buildings up. But they are wisely sending troops to all the LSCs to make sure they have enough to uh, count for LSC victory if the uh, coalition does manage to hold. But Austria is on the brink of losing here. And France has a very healthy army here. Why he's being so laggy? But, you know, it's probably all the smoke. This may come down to the timer, guys. Um, it looks like Russia is going to consolidate around this LOC and Austria possibly around this one. Now, if we look at it, there is a two pointer over here. There is a one pointer and another one pointer over here. So, in total, that makes them have four. Um, there is one, two, and then, of course, I think they're going to take this one, three, and then one over here, four. So, as long as they can take this LLC, they will be fine. They just have to take it. Austria is managing to actually get most of their army back here. 
I'm sure they're going to back this two-pointer. We may have to fast forward here. May oh, no, we have a cab charge here. Some Chef Legiers collapsing in on the flank of this Austrian, or this Ottoman line. And we have a bayonet charge along the board here. Look at that. They are breaking the Ottomans. Ottomans just breaking in mass in the center. But they are going to form up with actually some healthier troops over here. Like I said, they had to hold for eight minutes and it can be a tie. Um, oh, they got to take this one and they got to take one across the way if they want to win. They should send the Ottoman general over to the one far over there so they have five points. Russia needs to consolidate around here. Don't, we have killed their general, don't sir. Now they push must over. Break. Don't push over and help out your ally. Help tell Austria to suck it up and hold this one pointer. You need to hold this one pointer. This is just oh, utter chaos here. These poor lancers just got blasted in the face by infantry. The tough thing is, all these French are wading through all these fling Austrians. It's going to take them forever to actually get over here. There's the artillery I was talking about. We've taken the buildings up. Look at this howitzer position. Holy cow. It's actually doing damage too. All right, well, hopefully it's... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, fast forward a little bit so we can see what's uh, what's the, the deal. Um, it looks like Austria, like I said, is going to pour back here into the town. How far it's come. This is where the Ottomans held in the very beginning. Look, it's running over old Austrian dead. Or not Austrian, but uh, Ottoman dead. Let's see if they can actually hold. Oops. At the same time, we do have Russia holding by this LOC. Like I said, guys, this is a tough LOC to hold or to attack. Now, they have decreases. Only 55 men are allowed. Oh, they took it. Okay, they took that one. Good. Which is probably going to force... Uh, they probably want to wait so that the... Uh, they're going to go for the two-pointer. I think Austria realizes it. So goes the mad struggle for the LOCs, guys. The LOCs are now the ultimate uh, goal for each side. And Austria has a pretty good handle on things, I would say. They got some infantry here. They got cavalry supporting them. But France is going to start meleeing in here. Holding a line so their troops keep pushing up. Whoever gets the LOC is going to be able to hold it. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Or um, if they take this one, then they don't have to worry about the two pointer. Oh, what did they take now? Oh, they took it. Wow. But now the Russians are going to charge right back in here. This is going to be a bloody struggle here. Bloody struggle here. Um, it's not going to matter if they lose the LOC. For, if the coalition loses this LOC, then it's over. They don't have enough points. They have three points to uh, one 
two, three, four, five points, so yeah. Look at the mass of routing troops while these guys are trying to fight. I think France has it. I think there's a brave Russian uh, force here that's going to try to hold. And who knows, maybe they'll last the entire three minutes. Um, but I don't think there's any way the Coalition's taking this LLC back. They are breaking around it, so it's going to be a French Imperial victory here. Uh, we do have some lineup shots like Dina Bain at charge. Hold on. Oh, no, it's over. It's mass routing now. I'm just fast forward here, so we don't have to the sit man through all of it. The men are fatigued, must rest a while. Um, this Russian army probably will last till the end. But oh wait, they broke the LOC, which means that it was a French-held LOC. If they the lose, the men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Well, that's. Are they going to use canister? Our men are running, sir. Yeah, they're not going to get you. All right, guys, that's me about the battle. Um, like I said, I don't think we're going to actually see. Our men are running, sir. Oh no, it's gonna be final, final blow here. Oh, right. Final blow here as Russians once more are clashing versus Russians, and that'll be the battle here. So enjoyed it. Oh wait, there's one left, but that that should be the battle here. Like I said, um, this one was uh, sent in by who was it sent in by? Oh, yeah. Uh, Steely Dan. I said he's the Fin Master, so thank you for that. It was a really good battle. Um, I think there definitely were some mistakes made. Maybe the Coalition pushed a little too aggressively and let the Imperials have a beautiful stand by the river. In this river right here. So, who knows? You can see the kills and losses actually not bad for both sides definitely the french got better but i mean some of that could have been them wading through the masses of routing coalition troops and just killing a ton um yeah, look at these kills even the artillery got 138 kills that's pretty good for artillery and the guard decor those brave dudes but anyway guys think it's better for me today <laughs> thank you so much for joining me um i really do appreciate the support i am so happy to see you guys enjoying these replays they are so much fun to watch and uh I'm glad to be able to share them with you guys. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and I will catch you all in another video.